did this girl had the audacity to are you okay yeah bro i thought i was about to lose my eye tag bitch i'm not man what's up y'all what it do man it's your boy canon bro night bro today we're gonna be here to one of our boys video again lip blood confession my biggest athletic ales i'm not gonna lie i play football i don't even know why the fuck i played I really don't. I'm still trying to figure out that shit to the down day. Why the fuck did I even play? Like, I'm really trying to figure that shit out. But, yeah, I realized sports were not for me. Sports are not for me. But, yeah, without further ado, I'm about to go ahead and get into this video. Telling stories to you guys is one of my favorite things to do. But today's gonna be more of a confession. Except without the creep. Is it you going ghost? be priest i came looking for booty yeah i'm gonna be confessing my biggest athletic l's and as a man who's got more pride than vegeta this one's gonna hurt so if y'all didn't know i played on a soccer team as a kid and let me tell you africans love their soccer i mean have y'all seen how we act when the world cup is on here comes Raf with the ball oh oh he's passing two defenders he's passing two go 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 <laughs> But anyways, growing up African meant that if you wanted to play a sport, it was either soccer or nothing. And you know, I was actually okay with that because at least I wasn't going to be playing football where I would have to be like suffering brain damage, playing like a sport or any- oh! Regardless though, my soccer team had a lot of embarrassing L's. Yeah, I niggas over here doing the game you pose. For example, one day we pull up to our game, ready as ever to turn around our zero wins to 10 loss season. But when we pull up to the field, we find out that not only did the other team not show up, but the wrong team showed up. And this was all due to an error in scheduling. And on top of that, the wrong team that pulled up was an all girls team. So we all kind of just stood there staring at each other, not sure what to do until uh, y'all just want to play each other because uh, I'm still trying to get my paycheck, no cap. I got a baby mama to feed at home. You feel me? <laughs> mm. No. Mm -hmm, he better because he still need to pay some child support over here. God Shut damn. up, Linda. And just like that, <laughs> both of our coaches agreed to have our team face off, making this every middle school boy's dream. Boys versus girls. So fast forward and my team's in a huddle hyped up, barely even listening to a word the coach is saying because we already know we're about to get our first win of the season. I mean, I'm straight up preparing myself for the post-game interviews like it's about to be a 2K. <laughs> yeah, so Lip Blood, how does it feel to carry your team to its first win of the season? Well, you know, man, we had a rough start, but uh, thanks to my teammates and my coach and everybody in the facilities for helping me out nah nah this is what you want to say well man you know we had a worse start but you know we had to give the team some good d that what he wanted to say man but this right here was a statement game we don't need to worry about the past we just got to keep looking forward man thank you lip blood uh yeah lip blood rumors have been going around saying you joined a glizzy eating contest uh any thoughts on that hey who let this man in bro no sir you need to answer the question sir you need to answer the question sir you need to answer the question regardless though even though they were an all girls team i did not care bro like y'all know me i'm not holding back bro equal rights means i'm gonna put up an equal fight if i gotta cross up a girl so hard that she's gonna look like she's making out with the grass i will so boom the whistle blows and the game begins do y'all know that moment when your team is so good that you feel like the 2016 golden state warriors yeah that's what the girls must have felt because the score was five and no my nigga. they straight Damn. obliterated us i'm talking bet our team over a coffee table in the middle of a starbucks and la, 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 la. Type screwed us over. Yeah, long story short, that was my last year playing organized soccer. All right, but my next embarrassing sports L I have doesn't even really count as a sport, but I don't even care. I gotta tell it because it's just as bad, if not worse, than the last L. All right, so one day I was playing a form of freeze tag at recess, and at my school, I was the fastest kid in the class. So I often found myself in situations where I was the last man standing. And if you've played freeze tag before, you know that if you're unfrozen, you have the ability to go and free the people who are frozen. So at the moment, I'm just chilling in the safe area where you can't be tagged and i look around and see all the people ready to tag me as soon as i leave and being the last person alive i knew what i had to do i take a deep breath and run bro i straight up felt like i was mad no you puzzle <laughs> demon style shadow do shoot Moses, the way I was leading these people to the promised land. Actually, no, scratch that. I was straight up Oprah. I was tagging people left and right, unfreezing them like, and you get unfrozen, and you get unfrozen. Everyone gets unfrozen. Funny and the bitch. amount of people I had chasing me, trying to stop me was insane. Like, I'm used to girls running away when they see me, but shit, in this situation, I had like 20 on me, bro. Call mm -hmm. me Mr. Riz guy, you feel? Anyways, as I'm dodging and weaving my way back to the safe area, I take one last look around to see if I missed anyone, and by the time I turn my head forward again, I collide into a a whole ass 
bush. Bro, when I finally recovered from the shock, I noticed that I had a deep cut right above my eye. But that's not even the worst part, bro. Someone tell me why while I was laying in the bush in shock because I almost got blinded. This girl had the audacity to... Are you okay? Yeah, bro. I thought I was about to lose my eye. Tag. Bitch! I'm not gonna lie to you guys, when she did that to me, all that was on my mind was murder. I was straight up feeling like Melly, bro. But anyways, as big of an L as that was, it was still a little fortunate because the cut was really only an inch away from my eye. So I was low-key really close to telling this story dressed like Akashi. Anyways, I definitely have a lot more sports L's, but let me know if y'all want to see more of those because I want to keep them in the vault for now. But if you want to see even more sports L's, check out the hashtag in the title or comments because my animation friends and I have all made videos on the topic and we're trying to make this a trend in our community. So uh, make sure to go check out those those videos too i also want to call out yo yo 808 stanley animations jawbreaker juice where's mario young simmy and raul tv to make a video on their biggest l's so uh yeah spam them up and tell them that i called them out but uh yeah <laughs> cole. as always peace out cole cole where uh 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 i ain't about to do that to y'all i ain't about to speak the bar to y'all but yeah that was my boy Lip blood. I about to call this motherfucker lip boat. <laughs> but yeah, that was my boy lip blood, y'all. If y'all like the video that he did, don't forget to check out his channel. If y'all like the video I did, don't forget to check out my channel and subscribe to both of us, bro. Like, we on the come up for real. We out.